Now, anti-lockdown protests have taken over the United States as the governors continue to push for social distancing measures. Now, the protests come even as the United States remains the worst affected nation with more than 47,000 deaths having been recorded so far due to COVID-19. All right, so this is on the streets of Albany in New York, where the protesters took to the streets, calling for an immediate end to the restrictions that have been brought about due to the lockdown in the state. Remember, New York remains the epicenter of the COVID-19 outbreak in the United States and has borne the brunt of the pandemic, with more than 20,000 deaths having been recorded so far. And not just the state of New York, there are also several protests in the state of Virginia as well echoing President Trump's statement, anti-quarantine demonstrators are even calling on the government to liberate Virginia. And the scene, of course, was no different in Los Angeles, where drivers staged an anti-lockdown protest, honking their car horns around the city hall. The many Republican lawmakers in several states have also supported these protesters. The governors of these states are even considering to reopen certain businesses pretty soon. And also in a strange turn of events, President Donald Trump has said that he strongly disagrees with the Georgian governor's decision to open certain businesses at this point of time. This comes even as the president has been repeatedly calling for reopening the American economy to save jobs. I told the governor of Georgia, Brian Kemp, that I disagree strongly with his decision to open certain facilities which are in violation of the phase one guidelines for the incredible people of Georgia. They're incredible people. I love those people. They are they're great. They've been strong resolute, but at the same time, he must do what he thinks is right. I want him to do what he thinks is right, uh, but I disagree with him on what he's doing. Now, even as the states are mulling on the prospects of easing down the lockdown restrictions, leading immunologist Anthony Fauci has said that coronavirus will continue to remain even during the fall season. There will be coronavirus in the fall. If we do, which we won't, but let's take an imaginary period. We say, okay, coronavirus, forget about it. We're not going to do anything about it. It will take off. That's what viruses do. But that's not what's going to happen. We are going to respond to it to not allow it to do that. Now, there are about 45,000.